Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Ostriv. This is a game very similar to something like Banished. The same time period, anyway, as Banished. It's a village slash city builder kind of thing where the year 1721 we have a band of colonists and our goal is to move into this, uh, this valley here and uh, set up shop, uh, get ourselves fed, supplied, survive the winters, you know, that, that kind uh, of a theme, that kind of a thing. Uh, it's been developed by Solo Dev out of Ukraine, and it has been in development, I guess, for something like three years, but it is now, as of a couple days ago, available for uh, for download, for sale, and on uh, on his website, not on Steam, just that we're actually in Alpha 1, you can see down here in the bottom corner, so there's a lot of things that aren't in the game yet, and a lot of big plans for later development, but for now, it's still a, a fun little thing that's... Uh, uh, we can do here. I've actually been following this guy for a while on Twitter, and uh, it's, I've really been looking forward to trying this one out because it's it looks like a pretty uh, pretty cool game. So let's go ahead and try this thing out. We've got three maps to choose from. Nothing procedurally generated here. These are hand-drawn maps. Later on, there is plans for modding. Uh, one of those modding things being able to build new levels. So let's go ahead and go with uh, this one here with a little island in the middle. We can see our village is that little spot right there. And let's go ahead and move on in. So one thing, the first thing off is this game is very pretty and we can see that here we can zoom out and uh, we can kind of see the uh, the land here we can see there's uh, lots of grass lots of trees a fancy river we got some nice looking water effects we got birds flying by but yeah very nice little town our little village is right here we've got houses these are tent houses here uh, you can see who lives in the houses this is uh, Yehevni, uh, Yevani, which is actually the developer's name we have Helena and Lukian this is a, a Ukrainian developer, I think I mentioned that, so the uh, Ukrainian names. Apparently, Ostrov is a town in Ukraine as well. Uh, but you have our folks sitting around a campfire right here, waiting for work. We have our camp center over here. We've got a camp storage over this way, mostly filled with uh, with boxes of nails. And you can see some, there's a bit of wood in there as well. We have our, our cart parking lot, and our well is right over here that's, uh, well, slowly being filled with water. And, uh, yeah, so our first goal, you can see over here on the left side, tells us we need wood. So we're going to go ahead and come over here to, that's a low-flying bird, isn't it? We're going to come over here and we're going to grab ourselves a forestry. What this is going to do, you can see what it took. It took nails and, I think, wood to make. And we're going to plop this thing down, I think, right over here might be a good spot for it. We can put it, like, right, I don't put it too far away from town. Maybe something like right here. Maybe like, maybe like that. Now we can come in here, we can build the uh, build the thing and come out and get some trees. Now, when we build the thing, so we've got, we have to haul in the wood and the nails to the site first. So laborers, you can see they'll get up from their uh, their campfire spot, they're going to come over here, grab some wagons, they're going to go to the storage spot, they're going to grab some wood and some nails, and they're going to haul it over to there, drop it off, and then the builders will come and start building everything. That's kind of a nice little thing from the game, uh, just a cool little thing in the game. It, it just, you can actually see things happening here. So we have old, what's your name? Vitaly is uh, hauling some uh, 148 nails over to that carpentry hut. And we got uh, Bilislav here is uh, got 10 wood on his cart. He's hauling over there as well. Everyone's got some activity going on over here now. And he's going to drop these things off, and then the workers will come over here and start working on this thing. You can see who's laboring. We've got uh, Pilip, uh, Vitaly, and Bilislav. We saw those three, those two. He's going to haul the nails, he's going to drop them off, and then we'll get some work going. There we go. And we have the tents right now in time. We'll build them new houses that they can live into. We'll, we need to put a clay pit down. We'll put a thatchery in. And we'll get some things set up here. Up at the top here, we can see it is March 19, uh, 1721. We have nine uh, men and nine women and a few kids in our town right now. Uh, that is nine families that are here. There's nine tents, nine families. We need nine houses as well. Uh, this is our wealth, which has to do with the amount of resources we have in the town. Uh, like nails and, and water and wood and all that sort of stuff accumulates uh, figures into that. Uh, down here we can see what we can build. we got houses that we can make. We have a well, which we already have one of those. We have production. We saw already we have a forester. We can put in farms, of course, with windmills uh, to mill wheat into flour. We've got the carpentry hut to make more uh, carts and wagons. Shoemaker takes makes shoes out of leather. We can make from our cow shed where we get cows from. Just a few uh, things in here. There's plans for a lot more of these things. You can see the carpenters are, or the, uh, the workers are here now hammering out some logs to make this thing uh, and get it built up. We also have uh, some trade and transport. Transport and trade, well, trade itself is a big part of this. I'm, I'm not sure if it's in the game yet. I haven't gotten that far yet, but big plans for it in the future. And you can even see over here, my mini-map is, is a bit broken. Uh, but over here in the map, 
you can see we are here, and we have a town like, uh, what is that, Merefa, which we can set up trade routes with. And Balaglia, and there's something else over there. So I'm not quite sure how this works, but this is, uh, I think it's kind of more of an idea at the moment. Uh, what else do we have? We have trade transport, we have government, we have a town hall we can create, we have some decorations we can throw, we want to put a tree down, we can do that. Uh, education, health, and religion is all work in progress at the moment. So we're going to let our folks do some work here, crank up the speed, and let them get the thing done. And, uh, and yeah, it, it, it's cool because you can see everyone doing the proper thing. They're all running around town, they're doing the actual thing that they are doing. Um, that doesn't really make any sense, but they're they're actually getting work done, and you can actually see the proper building getting getting created noisily. And yeah, slowly it'll get put together, and we'll get some folks in here. We can hire some folks to come work in our forestry hut. We'll actually see them go out, chop trees down, haul the trees back, and uh, take them over to our stockpile. And as soon as this is done, actually, we can go ahead and do that now. This is nearly done. All the laborers are done hauling things, just workers there now. So let's go ahead and put in our clay pit as well, because we're going to need this for houses. I'm going to throw this thing down right... Oh, it's done now. Throw it down right next door to this. There we go. Clay pit is there. There's nothing really to do because you just have to dig. So clay is ready to go. Now in the hut here, in our forester hut... Get close here and look at the thing. Yes. Uh, we're going to add some workers. Hire some workers. We've got... Uh, Yeveni? Ye uh, Yeveni. Yeveni. I'll get these right in one of these days. And Ilya. <laughs> Yeveni and Ilya are coming in here to come work on some trees. And, uh, is that you? Yeah, there you are. Yevani is gonna come down. He has this very fancy hat. And he's gonna come... Him and, uh, is it... Are you Ilya? Yes. They're gonna come in here, and they're gonna get to work. And we can watch them actually come out here and start chopping the trees down. It's very exciting. They're gonna go, they're going inside right now. Come on. Come on out. I wanna see you work. Here they come. So they come over here, they're going to start chopping some trees down. And... There we go. Now they're going to come pick the thing up. Yuvani is... There he goes. And now they're going to haul the log back into the hut. I guess I saw the thing up into uh, planks, and then haul it back out to our stockpile. Carrying one log. There they go. Get to work. There they go. Insta done. Excellent. Well done. So there we go. So there, our wood production is now here. Clay will be done whenever we need it. We'll grab clay. Uh, we also need to get a thatchery. Takes reeds and dries them up for our roofs, for our houses. So the and the reeds are these green things down here. So we're gonna put this guy over, kind of close to where all the reeds are. Something like maybe over here. Somewhere where it's not so uneven. Maybe like uh, right here. Something like that. So he can come over here, build, build that thing up, he'll get the, the reeds, we'll start getting some thatch started up. And people should come over here and start working on that. We got some laborers that are going to start heading that way. Our well is uh, a little bit low on water, but it'll it'll fill up in time. Our real goal here, to start off with, is uh, if winter hits and we don't have all the houses built, you can see he was telling me to build houses, if we don't have all nine houses built for our families, then people will just move out. So we want to make sure we get that done. Uh, we have a limited supply of nails, thatch, and iron. Nails, especially. So we'll have to get a smithy in here to make some nails. And, uh, and yeah, so there's there's no weather or anything in the game just yet, but there is seasons. So we'll see fall, leaves will fall, and winter snow will come. Uh, weather is planned. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a whole roadmap list here he has on the website, which mentions things like um, crimes being a thing, uh, of course, education, religion, and entertainment, modding being a thing, private businesses... Is something cats and dogs, I guess, are planned. Um, more town hall functionality, which will allow us to do like personal management, that kind of thing. And uh, what else do we have here? Products quality, spoilage, more believable behaviors, improved navigation, weather effects, pigs, sheep, chicks, orchards, more crop types. Yes, yeah, all of this stuff that we, we need for this kind of a game. Let's go ahead and crank this thing up and let them get this thing built. Because we're going to need that before we get any houses down. So we're going to make crank that out, and then we're going to start plopping some houses down. We need nine of these things. You can see it needs three thatch per house. So uh, we need to get this set up and running. There should be over here chopping more trees down, I believe. We also need that for firewood, which I guess our campfire uses. There we go. Now it's done. So we're going to hire our thatcher. And there we go. We got uh, Vitaly. 
He's gonna come over here and he's gonna come grab some wheat, uh, some reeds. He just got some already. And there he goes. He's gonna carry this giant cucumber over here and make some. He's gonna dry them out so we can make roofs. All right, make some houses now. So houses, houses have a, an interesting thing to them. I'm gonna go with. I think maybe like this should be like our main road out of here should be this way. Would make sense, I think. I don't know if that matters just yet, but it's going to be cool looking. So we're going to connect this thing up, and you'll see something interesting here. Uh, let's go with like right about there is good. And whoops, that's going to hold shift. I'm going to place another one down. Now you can see it has this snapping tool where it snaps to the fence, so we can have a nice sort of straight uh, looking thing. And each house is going to look a little bit different also. Can I, can I turn you around just a little bit more? Maybe like that. And um, that's probably too uneven for you. Yeah, we can't. Oh, 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 we can do it. There we go. Can I do another one in here? No, probably not. No, no more is going to go in there. So that's okay. We can put this one like over here. We'll leave a little bit of a gap. Uh, this one will go here. And there. You guys don't need big backyards. Get over it. There's six houses. We're going to put another house over on this side for these guys. Which I guess is going to go right here. As we build the houses, you'll see our tents will disappear. Because they're moving out of the tents. Put one there. And there. That's eight. We need, what, one more? We will put one... I, mean, I guess we could put one in the front here. We'll just do it back here over here. Like, right. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, there we go. We got nine houses ready to go. Uh, thatch is happening. Wood is happening. We have plenty of nails for this. As soon as we're done with this, though, we're going to start putting in our smithy. Water is looking good now. We got some more giant cucumbers getting hauled into here. And they'll be set out. You can see them eventually get set out here and when he gets ready to haul them. Uh, let's crank it up. There we go. There they are. All dried up, and someone's gonna come over here and pick these things up and haul them around. Our uh, unassigned laborers will go and do that. Folks that are sitting around the campfire means they're not working. But there we go. House is gonna get hauled and 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 built. Things are getting hauled over. There's a, there's a, a pot of clay. As well, as some nails. We got some wood here. Thatch will get hauled over as soon as we need it, and we'll get all of our houses built up. There we go. And house number one is almost complete. Almost. There we go. We have a house. Excellent. So there we go. We got uh, Ilya and Svetlana are now living in this house. And they have a wealth level, which I'm not really sure what that has to do with. Maybe it has to do with the supplies that they have actually in their house. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but we got another house coming in here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to just uh, get built on get all these things built, hopefully. I'm not sure why they did that one instead of these first. Uh, one thing very cool about this. And you can see here, as time has passed, the pathing that has happened. This happened also in Frostpunk when we were playing that one with the snow paths. It's a very, very cool... Oh, he just hopped, He just packed his tent up and moved over. There he goes. Uh, very, very cool. Just little details in the thing. They don't, they don't require anything. It's not needed for the gameplay, but it's just a nice little touch on uh, these kind of games with you. you get the pathing going on here. So as trails get uh, used, you can see paths start popping up, like for this one right here. Because of all the builders, we built a, a trail there. Uh, the uh, the clay pit uh, does it have one yet? Yeah, a little bit of one starting to show up here. We got the uh, the lump the lumber yard. It's got a bit of one going in here. All the houses have one that's in the center of this town here, while the campfire is. Yeah, as time this was all green when we first started this thing up, and now we got all these little paths starting to pop up. And each house will start getting these as we uh, as we use them. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna just fast forward this, and uh, until we get all of our houses built. Because all we're really doing right now is just sitting and, and waiting and hoping we get these things built before winter hits. Still have a few more houses to go, but we're, on, we're in July now. We've passed a few months along, and uh, the houses are just, they're slowly getting put together. It's rather enjoyable, though, just sort of sit back and let and watch the um, the little ants go about doing their business. You can see the like the thatcher comes in here. He'll run down here once in a while, grab some thatch, come up this way, and then eventually he'll call he'll haul it over to the next house that they're working on. And uh, people will once a house gets built. You can see the folks come over. They'll grab their tent and haul it back into their house. The the lumber yard is doing its work. You can see trees will fall down, and, and slowly our forest is getting taken down, and the paths are, are starting to show up as well. 
these kind of things. I did a whole month on solo dev projects, and this is a prime example for what that month was all about with with games like this and the, the that, that can be made by just a single person. Very uh, inspiring for someone who, like me, who would would love to get into game game development, but uh, hasn't yet. <laughs> but uh, things like this that get done by just a solo dev. I realize it's been like three years of development, development with this thing, but still very very impressive. But uh, yeah, so we're just waiting to get for them to get these houses done. You can see the houses all do look a little bit different. Uh, they have all the different styles to them, and you can see the fences are in here as well, and. Um, Sort of the adobe look. This one, I guess, has adobe and wood. That one as well. This looks a little bit bigger. And uh, this one's getting worked on right now as well. Just watching these folks put this thing together is uh, kind of cool. We've got these houses over here to get done, and there's two more over on this side we still have to get done also. And I guess after this, I think our next thing is to go ahead and get a smithy built, which will get ourselves some nails. There is no tutorial to this game, but there is a readme with the uh, with, with the game when you download it, and it, it tells you basically just to, to do this. Start with the carpentry or the um, the forester, and then make sure you get the clay hut and the thatcher. Get your houses put up, and then work on a smithy. And that's pretty much that's it. That's the uh, that's the tutorial for so far. It's gonna be if if this uh it could be really cool if if the mods if you get the modding done with this as uh, as was with banish, I could see it uh, being rather uh, rather enjoyable. So we got this one to get done. We still have these two. There's other two more houses over here, right? Yeah before we get everyone housed. And you can see the houses. There's one to get done, so they should come over here and grab their house. Their tent, I mean. It should get hauled into the here in a moment. I'm assuming it's that one. I saw someone come out of here and come into that one. Someone's going to get some some water. Oh, there it goes. And here he comes with all his goods. Into his house. Okay. So there we go. I'm not sure how this records. I think it looks like it's running recording a little bit choppy with the high speed, so I apologize if it's not real smooth. Um, I'll leave it high, on high. But we got yeah these two houses left, and that's... I don't want to put any effort into building a, a smithy or anything just yet until these are done, because I want to make sure all effort is put into this. Because if we don't get these built by winter, then we will uh, have people just leave us. And I think if we want more people to move in... I haven't got that point yet, but I think we need to build more houses. So we need like a 10th and 11th house for that. Eventually, we'll get these. Will all go away, and so we'll put like our market and our town hall. will all go sort of in the center here. So I can imagine we have like our workshop sort of in, the, in sort of in this central area, and on the outskirts we have all of our houses around here. And um, I'm curious about what does this do? Hay storage. So if we, if we build a hay dryer, then we'd have hay storage. I wonder what it needs hay. Cows? Probably cows. Manage field works, plowing, crop rotation. I wonder if when we build this, does it... Oh, here we go. Use add field button to specify the area for growing. Okay. So we get to pick different kinds of crops, I guess. Change crop types each winter manually. Uh, hire a manager to allow automatic rotation up to six slots. Restores fertility if we leave it fallow. All right. Animals as well in there. Shoemaker, we take out a letter. We do need to get a fishing pier, I suppose, if we get some food in here. Now, the game starts you off with enough food to last the first... I don't know if I mentioned this or not. To last the first year. So we don't need to do, we worry about food at all until after this winter. And then we'll start worrying about that by getting farms and fishing and, and whatever else we can in here to get some food set up. But for now, I think we're good to go. we got the old Tanner Man's making quite a path here. Now the house is done. And so someone will come over here and grab their last two tents here and haul that over there. Did I build one too many? Oh, I did. Wait. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that a ten? Nine and nine. That goes in a, it looks like I have an extra one. Am I counting wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. I'm not sure where one of my tens is. Oh, well. Well, you can also see this helps me out here. I also I have a water supply, which is fine. Jobs are available. Uh, we know housing available, right? And we do have no market, which we will put in also very soon, which is going to be right in the trades here. It allows us to sell up to four goods to citizens. I'm not sure how that works. We also have trading post. It allows trading with other cities. And we have the granary, which stores our food. And the wooden bridge, which I think would be very cool to have going somehow over here. I'm not sure how to do that but it seems like it'd be a cool thing to have. 
we'll figure it out when we get to that point. We got two more houses to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I think everything should be hauled over there, right? Laborers are still hauling some things over there. Laborers waiting. We're just waiting for folks. They they have some sort of cycle where they go and they sit in the house for a little bit. I'm not sure if they uh, they get food or what, but they do. They run back and forth. This one looks like it is good to go, and that one is good to go as well. So let's go ahead and start plopping down some other things. I want to go ahead and get a smithy in here. Make horseshoes, nails, and metal tools. Uh, before we run out of nails, we need this thing. So we're going to set it down like right. Where's the front? Here. So this one's going to go like right into. I'm going to leave. There's a big path right there. Well, it's just for that house. If they want to go home, they can go around this. We'll leave a little bit of a gap between the houses, I suppose. The buildings, I mean. So that will go right there. Put some more businesses in here. And uh, we'll build all of our stuff in the middle here. And then we'll almost have all of our uh, stuff we need. We're getting some lot of clay over here. This one is nearly done, looks like. I'm The uh, the chimney looks like it must be a, a placeholder chimney because it's, it's just very bl plain white. So I'm assuming there'll be some more art into that as well. And we nearly are done. You can see the production up here. Our houses, we can, we can zoom to them if we want to do it that way as well. That will give us nails. How many nails do we actually have here? We've got 390 nails left. This one's going to take 112 of those. So yeah, we'll need to get some nails done. And then, I guess we start working on the fishing. It's October right now, so the leaves should start falling off the trees here in a bit. It'll start looking a little more autumn-like in this place. I'm just let them do their thing here. Who's this guy? Artem? Yeah, get to work, buddy. And I guess I can just follow the guy. Yeah, makes me very dizzy. There he goes. Find his home. He lives here. And there he goes. He just went home. Okay. One house left, and we'll be done. I think. Seems to think that eight is enough. But, okay, whatever. Ooh, all right. But uh, that is almost done. And I guess I'm not going to get any more help now, so let's go ahead and work on the things we want to do. That, I think, is our first thing. Uh, it does say we want to have... Like, these people want to have a market. So maybe we should throw a market in first. So let's throw one here. And I'm not sure which way this is supposed to face. It's like, okay, so that's supposed to face out. We will set that... Like, right here next to the market stall thing. Next to the, uh, the the carts, right there, and that is oh, it's automatically done. So supply, mm, okay. So I can put in. Can I do these things? Can I do dried fish? We don't have dried fish. Can I do that? Regular fish. I don't know. We don't think we have any of that stuff, but we can try that. I suppose. Uh, maybe we're not at that point yet. Okay, but well, I think it's a good place to call it a day. Again, this is Ostriv. It's not available on Steam, but it is available on their website. And uh, you can check it out there. I'll put a link, of course. And uh, we may continue this a little more. Let me know if you want to see more of this one. We'll see how far we can get into the game. We need to build a um, fishing uh, dock. We also need a boatyard to make the boats. And uh, we we'll see if we get some cows in here or something, some farms as well. Um, Leaves should start falling here in a minute. You can start seeing... Yeah, it's starting to, starting to change. You can see there's one tree that has changed colors. And there's some leaves. Looks like it's... Oh, oh, there's some leaves falling. You can start seeing it showing up on the ground as well. Here where it is fall. Look at those trees there before. They're starting to grow. Do they grow on their own? My thatch is starting to dry out over here. Yeah, very nice. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time.